Hey everybody, so I just got up. Um, I woke up from a insane dream. And I tell you, I've never seen anything like this in any of my dreams in real life or anything. <clears throat> it was... It was wild. Um, so to start off... <sighs> kind of sleepy. But to start off, um, what was it? Oh, yeah. Apparently, I just woke up from a crazy dream. Like, quite literally, I just... <laughs> I dreamed that I woke up from a crazy dream, and I remember all the details. I promise you, I've never dreamed this dream that I've mentioned before. But I mentioned... Uh, <clears throat> I was, um... Like, with this star thing it was floating in the air and it had this like diamond shape in it it was like a, a square just flipped around and uh, it was just floating in the air and I was looking at it, it was like kind of purplish I think and the square that goes in is orange or the diamond shape just kind of weird but um then there was uh oh yeah after that because I was talking about it and I dreamed it again, but when I dreamed it again this time, I saw the sky open up, like quite literally. So, what happens is I'm, uh, I'm just sitting there looking at that star for a minute and it, <clears throat> it loses my attention very quick because all of a sudden I just see the clouds in the sky, they just move. Like, there's a seam in the sky, like somebody is opening a planetarium or something. And it just opens up. And I see this man looking down at me. He's like wearing something white. I can't see his face. I think I saw sandals. Um, but he was like standing on the very edge of that sky area. And he was looking down. He must have been very big because where I was at, it was he was so tiny. Well, no, he was, he was not tiny, but he, everything else was really, really tiny. I couldn't see any details. But I could see him, and I believe that was the Lord. Um, but then after that, I woke up from the dream, and I was freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I just saw, I just had like a rapture dream kind of, you know, I was just going out of my mind. And I was in, I woke up in this like steampunk place. Uh, there was like metal walls, I think a, a siren cherry top, you know, thing on the wall. It's kind of like a old submarine siren thing. It flashes red and spins around. Um, but I was telling uh, the person that was closest to me, I think he was on the computer or something, he was just typing away. Um, I told him about that, and I was freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's all this, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember now. Okay. Um... But there's some other thing. I was saying the word hell a lot. And I don't know why I was saying it. But I was mentioning like. Uh, I was using it in a context. That it was like. Uh, I was going to do this to people or something. It was really messed up. And I would never do what I was mentioning to anyone. So. I don't know what was going on there. Um. Yeah, and then I think all that happened, I woke up, but, yeah, then I woke up, and I was, like, freaking out, you know, I was telling this dude, and, uh, he looks, he looked like somebody familiar, I think, but I don't think I remember his face fully, but then, after that, um, after I tell him, like, yeah, man, this dream is just crazy, man, I gotta tell everybody, or something like that, and I was, like, then uh, I gotta wash my hands for some reason. I don't know why I'm washing my hands, but um, I go wash my hands, and there's like crap all over the sink faucet. It's disgusting. Uh, not crap, but there's um, there's nasty stuff on there. Uh, it looks like somebody sneezed all over the sink or something. It was gross. But uh, I cleaned that up and. 
when I, I was using the sink first, and then when I used the sink, I was like, dude, what is that? You know, I was kind of grossed out. And for some reason, I like looked at things that were covered in um, uh, mucus, I guess, and I was like, it was it was human mucus. And I was like, man, that's just so disgusting. And then, uh, I don't know why, but I go back around and I start cleaning it all up and I clean it off the faucet, out of the sink, you know. Uh, and then I just, um, like I see this guy, he's like waiting back there for me. I think he's waiting for me to clean it. I don't know, but yeah. Not to mention, this thing looks like a submarine. It looks like a, we're living in a submarine. It's so weird. Um, metal walls, they're brown, riveted up, you know, all that sort of thing. Or maybe a bomb shelter. I don't know, but um, what else was there? Let's see. So I then go and... Uh, after I clean the sink, I go clean the circuit board off. I don't know why I did, but it was something that I had to clean. And I cleaned it off, but apparently I didn't clean it off good enough, or I, I put water on it, too much water on it or something. But This guy from the movie, uh, Jumanji, comes in, and we're like, Oh, fridge, hey, man. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but the circuit shorts out, and he's like, Oh, that's not good. And there's like a really loud pop. There's just crackling noise. And then he goes running into the other room. Uh, and then there's these people all gathered around watching this video. This guy, he's a, uh, I guess the circuit was connected to his video broadcast or something. But there was popping noises in there. And this guy was freaking out. He's panicking. He was running around like crazy. He didn't know what to do. Uh, I think he was saying something must have messed up on the video feed or, or something like that. And I think he was carrying some device. And um, that circuit popping caused him, I think, to be in darkness. Like quite literally, there was a light illuminating where he was at, but then it went dark. And he's just panicking. And then, um, yeah, everybody's watching them just so intently. They're like, oh, what's happening? You know, just, it's weird. And I was like, whoa, what's going on here? You know, I was freaking out about it too. I was like, man, I don't want this guy to die from my mistake that I just made. You know, that circuit blowing up or whatever. I don't know if this is anything prophetic or anything like that. It may just be a warning to all of you and possibly to me. But I don't think I've ever had a dream anything like that. And seeing heaven open up in my dream is just that's heavy. That's really deep. But um Hope you guys got something from this. I don't really know what to say. I mean, the interpretation of it, if it is prophetic, would probably be that a lot of people are probably still going, uh, or not still going, but, you know, have a high chance of going to the bad place. And I think maybe I was doubting or maybe... Somebody out there might be doubting or something like that. Or maybe the Lord just gave me this dream because I was asking for it. I don't know. but And then the cleansing of stuff in that submarine type looking bomb shelter thing. The sirens and everything. They were decommissioned by the way. The sirens weren't like, they weren't on. I mean they were but they weren't used to alert anyone. They were just on, you know, illuminating the room. Um, let's see. It really looked like a, an old cruise ship or something, or an old, 
Yeah, it looked like something off of, um, oh, uh, what is it? Those, like, slave ships, I think. Uh, I don't know, it was weird. Maybe not the slave ships, it was like a, it was just like a submarine, really. I mean, that's all I can describe it as. Kind of like an old submarine, though, not like those new ones. Didn't really have any portal windows or any, you know, like, uh, round windows or anything. Didn't have any windows that I could see. Um, and yeah, so I was cleaning stuff up. So probably saying clean up my act, maybe. Or helping people clean their act up or something. Or the cleansing of sins, maybe? I don't know. I mean, it's not me cleansing them, obviously. It's probably me leading them to be cleansed. Um, and the star and the diamond. I don't really know what that could mean. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure about that one, but I... I thought about it and I was like if I said star shape and diamond shape it sounds weird because star and diamond could actually be something because a star in the sky and then a diamond as in a jewel I don't know um hmm that's weird but I do know this that you guys need to make sure you're saved and to be saved you have to believe that Jesus lived a perfect life he died on the cross for our sins he rose on the third day um, shortly after he went to heaven and made blood atonement which completed the whole um, I actually know well yeah 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 I completed it yeah I completed the entire uh ceremony or, or whatever you want to call it but that completed it and we are now cleansed of our sins as long as we believe in what jesus did we don't have to believe that jesus is the son of god but if we believe in what he did then that's good enough it says in the bible um i don't know which scripture it is but i know that he says if you don't believe in me then believe in what i did so remember that for sure um but yeah guys that Bible drama, it's probably going to be a while before I can do that because uh, I'm, I got work now. Got a job and everything like that. I'm going to be real busy. But maybe I could do it. I don't know. Because it's going to be real. I got to make it you know, real thought out and everything. And then I forgot what the other thing I was going to do. Oh, yeah, my drawing or whatever. I still haven't found my shading pencils. I got like a three set in here, but I had like a, um, a professional artist set somewhere. <sighs> I don't know where it went. But uh, seeing that, <laughs> seeing what I saw in my dream just, it blew me away. Um, yeah, guys, I hope to see you again in the next video. Comment if you get anything from this and tell me if you think that anything is prophetic or interesting. I mean, anything. Anyways, uh, yeah, see you guys.